Hi everyone and welcome back to my Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel, in this video, I would like to talk about how Canada works to help newcomer women across the country. In late March, the province of Ontario announced a $768,000 investment in the Canadian Council of Muslim Women. This funding is intended to help address employment barriers for women by focusing on increasing recruitment, retention, and advancement in non-traditional and or growing economic sectors through CCMW's Addressing Barriers to Employment for Muslim Women project. Such an investment is being made to help address the inequalities that women face in Canada and brings to the surface why it is vital for organizations around this country to work toward removing barriers for women in this country. This is especially true for newcomer women in Canada, who continue to struggle with fair representation in the Canadian workforce. Let's talk about federal. IRCC has several federal programs and services for women coming to Canada, which include women at risk as part of the Urgent Protection Program and the Racialized Newcomer Women Pilot Program. Let's talk about war program. IRCC's Women at Risk Program provides aid to women who need urgent protection or who are vulnerable but do not have. To show that they have settlement potential, women in this program, as well as their dependents, must still pass all required Canadian entrance examinations, medical, security etc., in order to receive aid through the Urgent Protection Program. Let's talk about RNWP Program. The Racialized Newcomer Women Pilot Program provides newcomer women in Canada with settlement services and support to improve their employment outcomes and career advancement and contributes to greater opportunities for racialized newcomer women to participate equally and fully in Canada's economy. Let's talk about provincial territorial. Each Canadian province and territory offers services through local organizations which aim to help newcomer women with anything from day to day life as they settle in Canada to finding work, preparing for an eventual citizenship test and even finding a mentor, here is a list of at least one organization that services Canadian newcomer women in each province territory. A more expansive list of newcomer women services in each province territory, excluding Quebec, can be found on the Government of Canada website, let's talk about British Columbia, Women's Economic Council, Vancouver A registered charity with a mission to advance every woman's participation in building resilient and inclusive economies. Especially women who experience multiple systemic barriers. Umoja Operation Compassion Society, Surya charity that works with recent immigrants and refugees of all kinds, with specialized programming to help immigrants with their daily life and finding a job. They also offer services specifically for women, let's talk about Alberta, Calgary Immigrant Women's Association, an organization that provides programs that help immigrant women navigate daily life, find employment, seek a mentor, and receive general job-specific language training, making changes Employment Association of Alberta, Calgary This organization provides services to women looking to find a job. Making Changes is committed to creating a safe space while helping to advance futures for women in our community. Let's talk about Saskatchewan. International Women of Saskatoon Lead, Saskatoon from Employment and Job Search Services to Specialized Language Testing and Settlement Resources, as well as Community Engagement Aids, the International Women of Saskatchewan has a number of programs and services for Canadian newcomer women. Let's talk about Manitoba, Manitoba Start Employment Solutions for Immigrants Incorporated, Winnipeg an employment services agency that offers help to immigrants with finding a job and navigating daily life in Canada including programs specific to women. Let's talk about Ontario, Access Alliance Multicultural Health Community Services. Toronto A immigrant and refugee service provider that aims to improve health outcomes, for those who, have been made vulnerable by systemic barriers and poverty. Immigrant Women Services Ottawa, this organization offers programs and services, according to their website, focused on three primary areas, crisis intervention and counseling, interpretation and translation. And settlement and integration, let's talk about Quebec, Women's Centre of Montreal, an organization that supports recent newcomer women throughout immigration process services to facilitate settlement and integration through individual support and group activities. Let's talk about Newfoundland and Labrador, Association for New Canadians, St. John's and Nonprofit, community-based organization delivering settlement and integration services to immigrants and refugees including that support all aspects of immigrant integration, ranging from settlement information and orientation to language learning, 
Skills Development and Employment, let's talk about Nova Scotia, one of 32 YWCA locations in Canada that provide services to women focused on leadership. Health and Wellness of Women and Girls, Women's Economic and Housing Security, Quality, Accessible, Developmental Early Learning Childcare and to End Violence Against Women and Girls. Let's talk about Prince Edward Island, Immigrant Refugee Services Association PEI Incorporated, Charlottetown an organization that provides a multitude of services for Canadian newcomers, including language programs and assistance finding employment. Let's talk about New Brunswick, Northwest Resource Center for Newcomers Incorporated, Edmonston a non-profit organization whose mission is to help newcomers who come to settle in the region in order to facilitate their social, economic, educational and cultural integration. They offer resources, learning and mentoring services, as well as networking and support services. Let's talk about Nunavut, Carrefour Nunavut, Ikaluit a French language organization that offers services for job seekers, new immigrants, current workers and entrepreneurs. Let's talk about Northwest Territories, NWT Literacy Council, Yellowknife a not-for-profit and registered charitable organization that promotes and supports literacy and essential skills in all the official languages of the NWT. Let's talk about Yukon, Association franco yukonaise Whitehorse a French language organization with specific services for newcomer women related to such tasks as navigating daily life and finding employment. In the end, I would like to request you please like the video and subscribe Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel and also share this video to your friends and family members for Canada Immigration Updates. Thank you, see you in the next video, take care.